Hi, I'm Amanda Taylor from Guide for Geek Moms. Nice. Thank you for joining me today and taking the time out. Yeah, thanks for having me. Nice to meet you. Well, my first question is actually, I was curious of like, you know, what drew you to take on this film? Was you a fan of like uh, the Blues Clues before this? I I was a diehard Nickelodeon kid, for sure. Um, I grew up in the 90s with all the Nickelodeon cartoons and SNCC and all that stuff. And I was a little, when when Steve came on with Blue's Clues, I was a little old for that, but my little sisters watched it. And then when they were recasting, you know, um, recently for Josh, I was following that. It was so interesting to see all the press and marketing that they did behind that. And I thought Josh is such a great choice for, for playing you know, the, the new host of the show and interacting with blue and he has a Broadway background. So it was, it was super fun to, to meet all of them and see them all, you know, play in the sandbox together. It was just, you know, this culmination of, of years of, of blues, you know, put into the New York city environment. So it was really fun to be a part of it in that sense. Yeah. And there were so many fun cameos. I loved about it. (laughs) So many fun, especially, Especially Alex Winter, you know, as the cabbie, I love me some Bill and Ted. So how did that come? Oh, I mean, we definitely, when we were making the, when we were, you know, sort of building the the screenplay and making adjustments to it, we wanted to make sure we fit tons of cameos in there. And that has a lot to to do with the idea of co-viewing and being a family movie. And, you know, a lot of the inspiration for that comes from how the Muppet movies did it. You know, they, they had films with some of the funniest cameos or Sesame Street shows like that. And obviously Blue's Clues has done that in the past on their show. So we wanted all these different stars from Broadway, stars from the music scene, stars from films to be interacting with Josh and giving him advice along the way. So they sort of act as the wise sages on Josh's adventure to find his to find his Broadway audition. I love that. I love it. I mean, I enjoyed the film. So you said, you know, you you were uh, privy to it since even when Steve was first on. How was it to actually work with the three of them? Um, It was wild. They're all professionals. They're all so talented. They're so I mean, the subtleties of just playing make believe with animated characters and, and interacting with the animated characters, even when you know, there wasn't dialogue spoken in the script and they're just standing there. They're still, you know, making sure that they're making eye contact with Rainbow Puppy and Tickety and Slippery. And, you know, when you put the animation in the film afterwards, it's, it's amazing to see all the little things that they're so good at, you know, being in an animation live action hybrid. Um, They're just an absolute pleasure to work with. And it was so fun to see it come to life in post-production as well with all the animation. Yeah, like I watched it twice. That's how much I loved it. I watched it oh. twice. <laughs> so what is, you know, I always like asking any like fun blooper, like behind the scenes, fun facts you can give me? <laughs> oh, geez. I mean, one thing I hope there's there's a it wasn't really a blooper, but it was one of the most interesting shots when when we're in Central Park and and Josh is being lifted up by the trees. That was one of the a really technical and a uh, sort of stunt that we had to pull off because we had to bring a giant crane into Central Park and Josh actually had, you know, wires connected to him, lifting him up. And then the animators had to make sure that there was enough space for the trees to be animated in there. So it's really fun if you see any behind the scenes footage, it's kind of Josh just floating 50 feet above, above everyone, looking like he's flying in Central Park. Um, and, and just being in Central Park for that too, it was this a lot of people were like walking by like, what the heck are they doing? You know, but when you put all the animation and it makes sense. So that was a really, a really fun technical shot, you know, to pull off. So, Well, my time is up, but thanks again. I really enjoyed the few minutes we had to speak together. So yeah, thanks and have a great day. Thanks for having me.